Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Um, I'm not going to talk about camping stoves today, although I've got some camping stoves. No. I'm going to talk about the Chinese diesel fan heaters. And uh, this arrived, let's hold it up against the wall so you can see it, and it's a dampener. Now, I've looked at other people's videos of fitting these and they don't seem to make any difference to the sound level but what do they actually do so i'm going to try and describe how these operate and what the principle is and they're not for dampening the sound they're for dampening the flow i understand it and i will fit this one to my shed diesel heater if i get time but um, I'd just like to say this is an introduction to this thing and uh, please carry on watching and it's definitely not going to be related to camping stoves. Well I'm not sure how to start this video but um, I'm going to try and explain a couple of things to do with pumps similar to what's used on diesel heaters and things like that but um, this is my understanding of this type of pump where it has a piston and I'm going to try and do it on paper now if you imagine this is the pump and it has a piston in it where it's either driven by a solenoid or by a crank like in a car engine but it's a single pump so when the piston comes back, it draws fuel in into the pump. But when it's pumping out, the fuel coming in is stopped. And when the piston is say, pumping the fuel out, you get a flow there, but it stops there. So you get a pulse of fuel and the pulse of fuel, the gaps between the pulse of fuel is where the pump is actually sucking from the tank. So you get a pulse of fuel, it stops. Pulse of fuel, it stops. So the pressure in the outlet pipe going to whatever it is, is pressure, no pressure. Pressure, no pressure. And the fuel coming in, it's sucking fuel from the tank it's not sucking fuel and it's sucking not sucking sucking not sucking so you get this pull, 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 pull effect with the liquid flowing now on older pumps so you get like a continuous flow of liquid coming out without the pulsing they put in like um, I don't know what the proper name for them are but they're like pressure vessels and they put one on the front as a pump and it looks like a, a big a, a very thin cylinder gas cylinder and what happens in it um, you get the liquid coming in will be part way up inside that vessel because they stand vertical and on the output one you'll get a liquid level there so this is all liquid like that now you cannot compress liquid but you compress air so let's look at that again so the pump sucks fuel in and what happens is any fuel in here will drop momentarily and also add to the input and the air in here will be expanded expanded and on the opposite when it pumps out it will try and compress the air in here because you can compress air so what it's doing is like a seesaw action of pressure and the idea is um, you when this pumps out it squashes that 
but then it releases it. So you get a pulse of fuel coming out from the pump like that. And then this is adding to it, it's trying to push this fuel as well. So when the pump stops this, you normally get a pulse like that of fuel. But the idea of this, as it pressurises this, it pushes, compresses the air, and then it releases this fluid back. So you get this arrangement. And then you get the next pulse. And in fact, depending how good these are, how much fuel will come out, so you get a more constant flow and it this eliminates the high pressure low pressure it it levels it out so it's not such a big change uh, i don't know how to explain that but you can compress air but you can't compress liquid so this air in here gets compressed and the air here gets um, expanded and compressed slightly on the input so it, it it levels out the output so you get more of a, a steady flow and it without this sort of arrangement on some systems it can put a lot of pressure on the joints because you've got an enormous amount of pressure then there's no pressure and with this as the high pressure is dampened a bit like a shock absorber effect it delays the action of the pressure. So it pressures that and then when there's no pressure from the pump it releases it slowly. Pressures it, releases it slowly. And here's another one that's used on boats. And you can see the T-piece that'll be like the, um, the water line or whatever it's used for. And that's a marine one. Accumulator tank. That gives you an idea, you know, what they're like. And here's uh, another picture I found. And this is that accumulator or pressure vessel there. Can you see it sitting there? And that's to stop the pulsing of the liquid. Okay, now... On modern pumps, they may have a rubber diaphragm in here with a spring. And I'll draw that for you and I'll explain how that works. Similar idea, same type of pump with a piston, which gives pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure. Because they're not too worried about the input from the tank, where it's got its pulsing, because it's actually under suction and not under a pressure if you see what I'm referring to so it's the output and what they have is a round disc not as big as this obviously and um, in it it's got a rubber diaphragm and in the center of the rubber diaphragm it will have a spring and sometimes they've got an adjustment like a, a screw on the top which you can adjust the tension on this rubber diaphragm. And it's a similar idea. You know, the, the, the pulsing from the pump coming out goes into the chamber and it flexes the rubber diaphragm like that. It puts pressure on the spring and then on the um, stroke, which is not pressure, it, the spring pushes this diaphragm back the other way and pushes with the spring it's pushing downwards and it's pushing the flow back that way and it regulates the flow of fuel now coming back to this looks a bit familiar doesn't it there's, there's the round bit in the top, there's your, your input, this actually goes out, but that could be just like that, it's a similar, similar idea, you know, where this could be the outlet, for example, there, on this device. 
But it's nothing to do with um, quieting the pump. It's actually really to do with making the flow of liquid or fuel so it's not pulsing. This doesn't have a spring in it at all and it's not adjustable. It does have a rubber diaphragm and all the diaphragm is doing is it's bending, contracting, bending, contracting and what it's trying to do is to even out the pulses of fuel which I talked about so you, rather than have a pulse of fuel and a pulse of fuel like that pulse of fuel what it's doing is it's releasing it absorbs the the um, the first edge of the pulse by bending the rubber diaphragm and then the trailing edge it re releases the pressure very slowly and that's all these things do they're dampeners um, whether it will make the fuel burn better I don't know but these don't work as a sound deadening at all they're purely and simply to help regulate the flow of fuel to the heater by this bending you know for backs and forwards backs and forwards inside here every time it pulses and um, it just relieves some of the, the pulses of the pressure but that's all that does it doesn't do anything else um, there is another way of um, I think might quieten the pumps down in diesel heaters and that's by um, reducing the voltage to them very slightly the, if they're designed at 12 volt you could run them at 10 maybe maybe or lower the other thing, I shall probably fit this later today to my heater in the shed and um, see how that reacts but looking at other people's videos who have fitted these they've found it's made no difference to the noise level of the diesel pump okay this is my one to five kilowatt diesel heater from the shed and it's mounted on this wooden base and you can see I've got the exhaust pipe there and it comes out the very back just there I'll sh probably show a bit more detail there's not a lot of room in the shed there you go you can see the exhaust coming out and that pokes through the shed wall these are positive and negative connections and I'll give it a bit of a dust down and then the intention is, is to fit this device in here if there's room this is a view of inside you've got the normal heater this is a fuel pump mounted here and uh, fuel tank and uh, I need to turn it round to get at the pipe which feeds the heater so let's see if we can turn it around and have a look at that now you can see the actual things now fitted onto the pump and that goes down to the diesel heater so the next thing I'm going to do is put it outside and uh, connect it up and run it ok I've got it set up in the garden I'm going to switch it on absolutely no difference It doesn't seem to matter which way this thing's in. It uh, doesn't seem to make any difference at all on the sound. So I've permanently fitted it in. Pump will come back. So it looks like that pipe's squashed, but it's not. And it's fitted there. And uh, we'll give it another test just to make sure. And this is an old yoga mat I've got, and I'll put it on top of the tank, 
which gives it a bit more uh, sound deadening. Right, we'll take it outside and give it another go.